This is Barcelona, Catalonia, Europe. Notice that I didn't say the word Spain. That's because we, Catalan nationalists, are deathly allergic to this word. Well, whatever, that's besides the point. These people behind me are Catalan nationalists. They are taking back the streets to protest peacefully because, as we say, the streets will always be ours. And why are we doing this? Basically, because we are Catalan nationalists and believe in nationalist values, like we are a nation and we have the right to be a state. Our nationalist regional government has always stood for social rights, public health, equality for women and education, as you can see from the images. This is our regional police during the economic crisis, using a degree of understanding never seen before in a state aspiring to become a member of the European Union. We are pacifists, but sadly, all these values are under attack right now here in Catalonia, my home. Just a few days ago, on October 1st, the Spanish government deployed thousands of police to stop our independence referendum. They defend the stupid notion that changing the borders, a decision that affects the whole citizenship of Spain, should be made by the whole of the population and not only by us, Catalan nationalists. They unionists are always complaining, but what crime has our regional nationalist government committed so far? Well, it's true that we, Catalan nationalists, abolish unilaterally both the Spanish constitution and our own Catalan Statute of Autonomy. It's true that we suspended the rights of opposing members of Catalan Parliament. It's also true that we shut down our own regional parliament, which has ceased its activities since then. But are such formalities really important? The important thing is that, despite the constitutional court's prohibition, we managed to hold the referendum. And we did it fine. We sent our people to oppose the police action. We sent the foreign press information that conveniently served our purpose. We succeeded! Now the Spanish state is threatening us with silly things like recovering constitutional order and the rule of law. But we won't let that happen. In short, isn't it wonderful? We have discovered that everybody thinks exactly the same here in Catalonia. And we do so at the same time. In fact, we are about 35% of the population. But it's okay. We are the Catalan people. The rest, well, it's true that on October the 8th there was a demonstration against the unilateral declaration of independence. True, there was about one million people, but they were just a bunch of fascists. So Europe, you are nothing without us. You need us. Soon, we will no longer be part of Spain. We will be part of you. We will share our values with you.